I'm proud to present Quick Post for WebOS, the quickest and most versatile way to post to both Twitter and Facebook. So I created this app um, mainly because I've used several different Twitter clients and of course um, the Facebook app by HP and they all are similar in one way in that they all post uh, messages in a very simple and basic way. So all the different clients, they all have different features and really cool features um, in regards to managing your your um, friends and managing your posts and your um, mentions and your messages and, and looking at people's walls. But one thing that they all do, and they do um, kind of poorly, is posting messages. And what I wanted to accomplish with this app is really to take it to the next level and to simplify the way you, you post messages to multiple accounts simultaneously if you choose to um, and also to improve the way you do it so let the app think for you and not have to think about um, how am I typing this am I gonna be within the 140 character Twitter limit um, you know am I gonna have to reduce the number of characters am I gonna have to um, manually shrink the URLs, URLs with a shortening service such as Bitly, you know, so take all that out of the equation and just let you focus on typing your message and expressing your thoughts. So let's go ahead and load the app. And this is Quick Posts. And the initial screen, once you set up your accounts, looks like this. And you can immediately just start typing. Um, but before I get into that, let me go ahead and go to the account screen. Um, this is what's going to come up when you first load the app when you have no accounts. So this is going to be um, blank and you're going to be able to add accounts, either a Twitter account or a Facebook account. And of course you can add multiple of each kind. So I have one Facebook account and I have two different Twitter accounts, but I can have as many as, as I'd like. Um, so let me go ahead and show you the tw add Twitter account. Um, and this is what it looks like. So the first um, section is for options, um, but let me go ahead and skip to the next section. This is just your account um, authorization. So um, for those familiar with uh, my other app, Music Player Remix, um, you know in that app you can post to Twitter and Facebook, and the authentication process is, is identical. Um, basically you hit link account, and it's going to load up a web browser window, and it's going to go to Twitter um, or Facebook if you're doing Facebook. And it's going to basically ask you, hey, can this app um, post on your account for, you know, on your account? Do you give it permission? So you log in, you say allow, and what it's going to do is it's going to give you a PIN number that you're going to copy, and you post it here, or you paste it here, then you hit finalize um, and set up that account. Um, so once you do that, it's going to look like this, basically. Um, and you can log out and redo it if you'd like. Um, let me show you some of the account options, though. Um, once you do that, um, there's a few things you can do. First of all, I can tap up here, and I could actually change the name of this. Um, you know, so Twitter account, if I want. Um, and I can change the name, and it's going to show up there. So by default, it's going to use your Twitter handle, handle um, or Facebook, it's going to use your name. Um, but you can change it if you'd like. Um, so that's one cool thing you could do. Um, the other things you could do are really geared towards um, just type, which is specifically in WebOS 2.0. Um, this app is designed to work on WebOS uh, 1.4, um, but it really shines and really takes it to the next level using just type on WebOS 2.0. Um, and this is where you can configure that. Um, this um, shortcut, um, which is currently set to T, so as soon as you create a Twitter account, it's going to default to T, and, and Facebook will default to F. And as you create more and more accounts, it's going to add numbers automatically. So if you don't want to change this, um, the next time I add a Twitter account, it's going to change it to a T3, the next one will be T4, and so on. But if I want to change this, um, you know, so let's say this is my home account, I can change it to an H if I want, and... I can do it that way. And what this is for is basically when you're in just type and you just start typing, so I had it as an H, what I would do is type an H space and then this is my message. 
and then I can hit quick post and it's going to post it to that account. Um, another thing I could do, so let, let's see, I have the H and then this one is an F. Another thing I could do is do H comma F and then, you know, this is my message. And it's going to post that to both of those accounts. And I can do as many as I want. Um, I think I had a T2 also. And then I can type my message and it's going to post to all three of those accounts. Um, or I can type A, which is a built-in shortcut for all accounts. And automatically it's going to send it to all of my configured accounts. Um, so it's very powerful in how you can choose where to send your messages. Um, another thing is your default account. Um, so you can set up multiple default accounts. So if I want this one to be a default account, I think I have this one as a default account. Um, I don't have this one. So I have these two as default accounts. Then when I'm in just type, I can just start typing my message without using the shortcuts. Um, and by default, it's going to set it to uh, send the message to the default accounts. So that's what default accounts are for: is the accounts that you're going to use the most, so that you don't have to remember um, the one-letter shortcut that you create. Um, actually, incidentally, you can type as many letters as you want, but obviously, one letter or two letters is probably going to be the best bet, um, just to save typing. So those are your um, options for just type. And it really gives you a versatile way of sending messages to multiple accounts simultaneously or just choosing the accounts that you want to send the message to. So now that we've set up accounts, um, let me go ahead and go to the quick post screen. And the first thing you're going to notice is that you have your um, message uh, text field here. And then you have your account um, uh, list. To expand the account list, just tap on it. And now I have my accounts. And you'll notice that two of them are highlighted. Those are your default accounts that we set up previously. So um, any accounts that you set as default are going to be highlighted here automatically so that when I load the app, all I can do is just start typing. And I'm ready to start posting. And it's going to send it to those um, two accounts. And But if I wanted to change an account, so if I wanted to send it to this account, I can, I can set whichever accounts I want. And it gives you a very quick way to, to switch between accounts and to send it to multiple accounts. And you'll notice that as I'm selecting um, the different Facebook and Twitter, you notice that the character counts are going away. So when I select the Twitter account, it shows you your Twitter count. Um, these are the amount of characters I have left before I go over. And Facebook, um, you have a little more. You get 420. Um, and then as you type, of course, oops you know, it, it decrements and increments. Um, and then when you hit the, the, when you hit zero or negative, it'll actually turn red. Um, the whole uh, um, background will turn red. So, but anyways, um, actually speaking of that, um, the really good thing about Quick Post, so one feature I talked about was multiple accounts and managing multiple accounts and sending messages automatically to multiple accounts so that you don't have to do something like you know, posting a message to one Twitter account and then having to retweet it to your second Twitter account um, or posting a message to both your Twitter account and your Facebook account so that both sets of friends and followers can read what you have to say. So that's one advantage. The second advantage of Quick Post um, is how it um, interprets or how it manages um, the number of characters that you have per post. Um, and really where this um, becomes advantageous is when you're using just type. But let me go ahead and do it here. Um, what you have, let me go to the preferences screen. Oops, that's the account screen. Um, you have a few options. And what it's going to do is it's going to do um, some compression techniques. And really what this involves is that in most cases, 99% of your cases, assuming you choose to use the compression techniques, um, you're never going to have to worry about actually hitting your mark. So even if you go negative, it's still going to post successfully. And the reason why is because it's using several different techniques to get your character count down. Um, the first one that it uses is actually um, your URL shortening. So it uses Bitly. Um, this is not an option right here, so that's automatic. Um, it does that for everything, so you don't have to select that. Um, so that's a nice thing. Um, the second thing is it uses this, this service called 140it. 
And what, what 140 it does is basically look for common abbreviations and eliminates extra spaces. And it does this based upon a max count that you provide. So for Twitter, I'm going to provide it 140. And it's going to intel, intelligently keep reducing uh, or keep compressing until it hits 140. Um, if it fails, then there's a second thing that it goes through. And what it's going to do is it's going to split your long messages into multiple messages. Um, so if this one fails, this is your backup. So what it's going to do is, if you have a really long message, it's just going to split it up, and it's going to put, I don't know if you can see this, but it's going to put a little one, let's say you, it splits it into three messages. It's going to put one out of three, two out of three, three out of three, and it's going to display that in your tweets or in your Facebook uh, messages. So it'll, it'll allow you to basically type as much as you want, not have to worry about thinking about how I'm going to, you know, have to reduce the... Um, the characters or eliminate words. I could just post what I want to think about, post what I want to express, and it's going to do that automatically. But if you don't want to use either of these options, you can't turn them off. And if you do so, then when you go to the negative, um, it's going to provide an error and it's going to say you've gone over the character limit and you're going to have to edit it. Um, but I recommend leaving those on because that's what really sets this app apart from other posting solutions is that you never have to think about you know, what you're typing or how much you're typing. You just express what you want to express, and it's going to do all the work for you. Um, let me go ahead and demonstrate this. Um, I have some text saved here, just random long text. Let's see. I think these are lyrics that I copied from... Uh, music player remix so let me i'm going to copy just this huge section here okay so this should be enough okay let me actually do this in just type so let me close the app and let me show you the power of just type and quick post so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to paste this in and it just pasted that whole thing into just type and now i'm going to quick post it and it's going to send it to both of my default accounts. And you'll notice I, didn't, I don't have to touch the app. It's doing it automatically. And eventually it'll finish. And there it is. Um, incidentally, if I would have clicked on that little dashboard thing, I could have gone into the app and loaded the app. Now, if I go to um, Twitter... you'll see what happens there, how it separates it. I'll go to my test account. So let's see what happened. And there it is. So um, it separated it out into four different posts. And at the end, it has a little continued one out of four, two out of four, three out of four, and then it finally finishes it up. It's also intelligent enough to split it up in between words, so you're not going to um, split it up in the middle of a word. Um, so it expressed. So now I've typed out this long, long message. I didn't have to think about, you know, how to split it up, how to reduce it, how to compress it manually. Um, if I if I had links in there. Um, and it, if it had to reduce it, it would have bit lead it automatically. Um, and there you go. And this is the power of quick post. And the same thing um, could be done here as well. So I could type as much as I want here, um, and it'll do the same thing. But really, on WebOS 2.0, I think what you're going to want to do is use just type um, and not even load the app, because um, that's the, really the beauty of it. Um, many other just type solutions, by the way, when you start typing and you use one of the quick actions, for instance, updating Facebook status, let's see what happens here. It's going to load the app. And it's going to load it into there, and I'm, st I'm still going to have to do um, a, manual, a manual interaction within the app. Um, but with quick post, I can just start typing, do quick post, and there is no interaction. It's running in the background, and boom, it's done. And I didn't have to do anything. I just put it back in my pocket, and that's it. And that's the power of quick post. Um, let me see. Is there anything else? Um, that's it. Um, oh, one more thing. Um, if, you, if you are using the app, um, let's say you're on WebOS 
um, or um, you're in WebOS 2.0 and you just wanted to load it in the app instead of using just type and you type in your message. Um, you can also do send and exit and it's just going to exit out of the app. So if you have one post to make, um, you don't have to even worry about flicking it up. So that's another shortcut. Um, so this is quick post. Um, there are more things coming. Um, another thing that I want to do is add an option for TwitLonger. Um, but I'm working with them still to get access to their API. Um, so I don't have for certain to say that that'll be included, but I'm trying. Um, and I have a few other tricks up my sleeves on how to improve posting. And really, I see this app as more of a companion to Twitter clients and Facebook clients versus a replacement. Because obviously in Twitter and Facebook clients, um, there's tons of stuff you could do um, other than posting. But really, I, f I, feel, I felt like posting was really lacking in some of those um, other apps and other clients. Um, even though they do a tremendous job um, in other aspects, I think posting was a little bit lacking. Uh, that's why I wanted to improve the way um, we post to both Twitter and Facebook. So thank you for watching and watch for more videos on Music Player Remix, Quick Post, and Geostrings.